Hello everyone, and welcome to a new series on my channel. I decided to take a break from the creative series that I have going currently, which is the Minecraft series, and switch it up a little bit. Uh, I'm about 30 episodes into the Minecraft series, and I will get back to it when I get the chance. But right now, I have decided to switch to a different game that I really enjoy, which is Planet Zoo. And here I am actually building a zoo in the sandbox mode, so that means just no money restrictions at all. Just the amount of creativity that I can put into the game. So I actually haven't played this game that often, but I do play a lot of Planet Coaster on my off time. I decided to give Planet Zoo a shot since I've had it sitting in my in my Steam lobby or my library for a long time and I think that I should give it a little bit more of a shot than just let it collect dust. So what I'm doing here today is a taiga or a mountain themed zoo with a very uh, ski lodge, mountain lodge themed entrance. And I did take some inspiration from a few different lodges that I had looked up. Um, so we will be working with that type of architecture here. So I was messing with the glass panels that come in the game. They're a little bit finicky, they're hard to select, but I was able to work with them and get them to work in the end. Uh, it was a little tricky trying to figure out how to fill in the gaps where you can see the, the light shining through there, but overall I think it turned out good in the end. So. Uh, in past tries of this, uh, different themes, I did try a snow theme, but that was also difficult. I forgot to actually put a person, a human reference, at the bottom of my build. So the doors to the place ended up being absolutely massive and I had to change the whole thing. But this time I remembered in the very beginning, so we at least have that going for us. So. Uh, just working on this like cross hatching, I don't, probably not cross hatching, just log framing uh, going on here, and I think that the front of this turned out very well. Um, I really like how it turned out actually in the front. It's a little bit slow here in the beginning because I had to figure out all these different angles, freeform, with them working and the different joints going off. So yeah, here you can see me filling in the gaps to the actual uh, the panels there. I first did this interesting design where it was two on both sides, but I decided it didn't really look that good. So I ended up changing that. Uh, yeah, to, you can see that here. I'm changing it up. So my plan for this zoo is, it's gonna be very, it's gonna be on the realistic side. I want to kind of take references from real life zoos, create a sort of interesting environment, but also having an environment that I've never seen before. Um, it's going to be a mountainous zoo, so there's going to be a lot of elevation changes. I want to work with the terrain quite a bit, you know, having stairs, ramps all over the park, I think would look very interesting in this zoo. So that's how it's gonna work. I already drew out the front of the zoo, uh, first couple of, of the exhibits. I'm not quite sure what I want to be the featured animal in the very front. I know a lot of zoos do like flamingos, but I think I want to do something different than flamingos. They're not that exciting. Sorry flamingos, but I really want to work with something else, something, something big, something that would match the actual theme of uh, the North American uh, Alpine, possibly uh, bison or possibly wolves or bears. I don't know if I want to go that big right off the bat. I know on a realistic scale they put those types of animals in the back of the park, but who knows, I might actually go for a, a large carnivorous animal in the very front, but I also might go with bison. We'll see. Um, Anyways, I'm starting to work on the roof here. I thought this design, it's actually, I think it's the East Asian pagoda roof, but I could be wrong. I thought it actually looked very nice when it comes to a mountain lodge type theme.
I couldn't quite figure out what I wanted to do with the walls here. I decided to go with the modern walls, uh, but I ended up covering a lot of it except for it, some little sections. Uh, I decided to go for a log cabin feel. The, the sides, I'm not quite sure I'm keen on them. You'll see it in a moment here. Actually, yeah, right there. Oh, I guess I got rid of it. Uh, right here I put in the logs on the sides and I'm not quite sure if I like it. We'll see. I might change it eventually. I think that the color might be off a little bit, but going back to fix it might be a little bit of a pain. Um, anyways, I think I will leave you guys here. I can't just talk and ramble on forever. I'll just continue to repeat myself. So I'm going to leave you guys with some music. Hope you guys stick around and enjoy the rest of the video. See you guys soon.
Thank you.